So you know how Windows 10 is going out of support in like One. days? Oh, you don't know that? Well, you're in for a surprise, I guess, because support for Windows 10 ends on October 14th. That means no more security updates to protect you from whatever that is that you're doing. What are you doing? Yeah, better get ready to enjoy Windows 11 with its more intrusive spyware, integrated AI slop generators, worse context menus, lack of customization, and more. Unless there was a way to avoid all of that. What if we could just stay on good old Windows 10? I mean, yeah, you could just do that, but you won't get any security updates like I said earlier. Well, there is a version of Windows 10 that is supported for much longer. It's called Windows 10 LTSC, meaning Long Term Servicing Channel. And that channel gives us security updates all the way up until 2032 if you pick the right version. But Jace, that's just another Windows version to have to install. That's annoying. I don't want to deal with losing all my settings. Shh, it's gonna be okay. Because there is supposedly a way to convert your regular Windows 10 install to this Windows LTSC with what appears basically no effort. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And I should say that this is not really a tutorial, but you might be able to follow this one. I, I'm not I, I'm not a tutorial maker. This is a come along and see if it works thing. So I'm doing this on my Acer laptop that I hackintoshed a few months ago. It runs Windows 10 Home right now, and I don't even think it's terrible dual core processor will be able to handle 11. By the way, the hackintosh did not survive very long. Uh, one day I, I booted it up and open core just wasn't there. I think Windows ate it. So that's fun. Let's get our instructions pulled up. And I should probably also screen record this. Hey Lois, tested one, two, three. <laughs> All right, is it working? Cool. All right, here it is. The instructions. It's this. Yeah, it's on Reddit. We're about to follow a deleted user's instructions on a three-year-old Reddit thread. Which is exactly the reason why this is not really a tutorial. All right, let's go. Also, this is not my main PC. I'm not insane. We're trying it on this laptop first because it's kind of just falling apart. Let's get the old registry open. Also, it looks like we're probably gonna need a LTSC product key, which I'm going to acquire very legally. And the install disk. Let's do the registry parts first. I wonder if this will destroy my computer with important information on it. Um, all right, we gotta go here. Wow, look at that. Find edition ID. There it is. And change the data to enterprise S. All right, you know, it surely can't be this simple, right? Guess we'll find out. And then you just run setup.exe off of the install ISO. Okay, because I'm literally insane, I have an entire network folder dedicated to Windows ISOs. And look, there's Windows 10, LTSC, an entire four gigabytes. So this is not gonna convert the entire Windows 10 install to Windows LTSC and like remove all the bloatware and all that stuff that may have been installed by regular Windows 10. All it does is just kind of enable the update channel and remove features like news and interests that were retroactively added to Windows 10 and hopefully remove the nag to upgrade to Windows 11. That would be awesome. All right, let's go ahead and open this. I don't think you really have to make proper install media. I think you can just run it from the ISO and I'm gonna run it right off my network drive. That's a great idea. This should hopefully keep all my files. Guess we'll see if it doesn't. Look, it's the notices and license terms. I accept those for sure. I ate two Heath bars and look, it's done. You won't be able to use your PC while Windows installs. Um, what version of Windows 10 LTSC is it installing? Is it installing IOT? Yeah, I kind of want IOT because I think the support for it's a little bit longer. I don't know why I'm reading Reddit for that information. I should just go to Microsoft. Hey, this isn't Microsoft. Yeah, we need IOT. That's the one that lasts until 2032. And it appears this is actually the correct registry entry. So I'm going to put that in here. There. And now I have to redo all of this. Totally didn't take 20 minutes to get here already. All right, let's do it. All right, here we are again. There we go. Install Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC. That's what we wanted. Perfect. Install. Uh, it, oh, it's just going. All right. <laughs> well, goodbye files if I accidentally didn't read something. Oh, wow. 1% complete. What happens if I like alt tab while this is, do while this is going? Oh, sh <laughs> we can Okay, we got to stop this before it tries to restart itself. Didn't know that was possible. Microsoft, you lied to me. I can use my computer while you're installing. Let's just go back to the Windows 10 setup. Yeah, no, nothing to see here. Just installing Windows 10 while it's able to still use the operating system in the background. Anyway, time-lapse time. Listen to this cool song I made with Windows 10 sounds. Well, it's back on. <laughs> and my account's still there. That took a painful amount of time. Let's see if we can log in. 
welcome. So do we think the license key is still gonna be active? I doubt it, but we'll see. We couldn't install Windows, what? No, what do you mean? Installation failed in the first boot phase with an error during whatever that is. Excuse me? I guess it didn't work. Can I go to settings and see? No, we're, we're still on Windows 10. Oh, this is Windows 10 Home. I thought this was Pro. <laughs> Great. Also, that took an insane amount of time. Um, what has it been like four hours just of uh, just loading? Maybe I should put the DVD on the computer. How about we just do that? Okay, Windows 10 LTSC is on the computer now. Let me make sure the registry key is stuck because I know it likes to change it back randomly. Are we still set to IoT Enterprise S? Yes, we are. All right, I'm closing it. We're gonna quickly open this as fast as possible. And maybe we'll just ask it not to install updates this time because it can install updates when it's done. Change how Windows setup installs updates. Not right now. Next. There you go, accept. Making sure you're ready to install. I'm ready to install. It's clearly you that's not. It's been like 10 minutes. Minutes. What is it checking? Genuinely. Oh my god, why is the CPU usage so high? Maybe it is doing something. <laughs> there we go. Keep personal files and data. Yes, go. Install. There it goes. It being run from the internal SSD is <laughs> much faster. Glad to know I wasted a ton of time again. Like I always do with this channel. Time lapse time again. <laughs> it's done again. Do we think it worked? Logging in to find out. Hi. Hello. I think it worked. We've got some updates for your PC. Hey, is that is this a good thing? It's not giving me the error that it gave me last time, but this also might just be the updates that I opted out of. <laughs> oh, hey, everything just loaded up. I didn't see any errors like last time. All right, let's check our Windows product information. Windows isn't activated. Oh, that's a great sign. No, but don't worry, it will get activated. Hey, look at that. Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC. We did it. We now have six more years of, of security updates. Yay, no. Windows 11. F you, Windows 11. Time to activate this. Okay, the following thing is not me advising you to do this. Don't do it. It's just for me to see if it works. Absolutely do not open your browser and type in Microsoft Activation Script. And then whatever you do, do not click on this link right here. Scroll down. Copy this. Open PowerShell as administrator. And whatever you do, absolutely do not paste it in and press enter. You follow here and definitely do not press the number one and then wait for it. Don't do that. That's it's software piracy. This is for education purposes only. Don't do it. And then whatever you do, if you press enter, the entire world will explode. <laughs> ah, just kidding. It's done. We did it. We've, we've, uh, we now have a computer. See, look, it's activated. We now have seven more years of updates. I think it's now time to celebrate. It worked and nothing bad happened at all. So yeah, if you hate Windows 11 like I do, you could just stay on Windows 10 with a, a registry tweak, a download of an ISO, which I already had, and you legally get a Windows 10 LTSC product key. So yeah, is it possible? Apparently, no issues so far. I guess we'll uh, wait until the uh, 14th and see if this thing is still uh, able to get security updates. Links for everything will be in the description below, including the Reddit thread. I can't include the other things out of fear I'll get a copy copyright strike on my channel, but definitely don't follow my instructions and look at the links on my screen during the video, because that would not be helpful at all. Because piracy from large corporations who have way too much money is definitely not ethical. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you'd like to see more, subscribe, uh, check out my other channels, I've got music, gaming, animations, the extras channel, and if you enjoyed the song during the middle of the video where everything was installing, click this right here, or scan that. Or slow down time and listen to it very fast in the span of two seconds. Here you go. Wow. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye.